Let's build an app on Ethereum in eight minutes. We'll use Scaffold ETH, a handy framework for shipping on-chain apps quickly. It lets you tinker with Solidity, then build out your smart contracts while you iterate on the UX in your front end. Then you'll deploy a contract and a website as a full decentralized application. To get started, let's MPX create ETH latest. Paste that in. We're going to create a delegator. We're going to call it Delegate Funds, and let's go with Foundry. All right, it'll take a little bit to install, and then we're going to need to run a few commands here so we cd in to delegate funds and the first command is yarn chain that's going to bring up our local blockchain then we're going to yarn deploy our smart contract to our local blockchain and then we're going to yarn start and that brings up our front end on localhost at 3000 let's get a look at scaffold eth it looks great all right now let's go to debug contracts we can see our contract we can read from our contract we can write to our contract we see some global variables there let's get into cursor and start editing we see our packages we've got foundry and nextjs let's do foundry and get into the contracts you can write anything but let's just kind of make a fake delegate thing here where we have a public address delegate Maybe it's someone who's getting royalties or something. Let's copy and paste our address in. Okay, so we've got this delegate. I don't know. We're kind of arbitrary, but let's just see that it's working. Yarn deploy, and let's see. There, there's our delegate. So you kind of are just in this tinker loop with Scaffold ETH where you're making changes. Now let's add a new, let's do set delegate, right? Let's make a new function, make it public. And we'll make it so only the owner can run it. And we're going to have to test that out. But let's deploy it and see that we get a new contract. And we're not the owner, so this should fail with not the owner. Okay, cool. So who is the owner? Well, let's go look at the deploy script and see that it gets passed in here. So it's probably in the constructor here. So really, we can set whoever we want right here. It's just a... Uh, Yep, so let's copy our address from the front end and paste it in, and let's hit deploy and see what happens. We should be the owner. Come on, pink guy, there he is. Sure enough, pink guy's the owner and the delegate. And now let's see if we can set it. And we're one more thing, it's gonna fail again. <laughs> we need some gas. Hit the gas station, let's hit the faucet. We've got gas, we are the owner. We hit send, and Vitalik is now the delegate. Okay, so the good guy, as the owner, can set it. Let's try a bad guy, right? Scaffold ETH makes it really easy with burner wallets. We got this teal guy right here, right? He can hit the faucet, grab some money, and if he tries to set the delegate, to some scoundrel like Austin Griffith Dottie, then hit send, it's going to say not the owner, because teal guy is not the owner. All right, so bad guys can't set it, good guys can set it. I'm happy with the back end, the smart contract looks nice. Let's get to the front end. We're going to go to app.page. Let's set like an initial title here. What are we making? I hereby declare that this is the delegate app, okay? And we got it. It looks nice. Now we can use these nice address components from Scaffold ETH. They got everything over here in their docs. Let's go to scaffoldeth.io docs where we can get components and hooks. But this hook right here is super important. Use scaffold read contract. We'll install that in. And now it knows about our contracts and can read any values we need, like perhaps the delegate. Give us the delegate, please. Thank you. All right, and save that as delegate. So now we just have delegate in our front end anywhere we need. We've got the delegate address. Uh, let's just display it raw now and see how it looks. Delegate! Looks like this. Okay, that is an ugly address. And let's get rid of all this HTML. Cutting up the HTMLs. You div. You div. You out of here, div. All right, there we go. Delegate looks good. Doesn't look good, but it's there. To make it look good, we're going to use an address component. So if you just open up that and put address and say address equals delegate and then close that thing, yep, we're writing HTML tags, but it's working, looking good. Let's add a little top margin there to make it look real good, center div like a genius. All right, looking great. All right, now we will need another div so we can set up an address input. This will let us receive some address, right? Someone can type an address in and we'll track on change. We do like a value is going to be like new delegate and then like on change we do set new delegate and then copilot's got our back. There we go. Nice. We'll install use state, but there we go. So now dele uh, this new delegate is tracked. 
little weird thing here. We need to put the little, you know, little quote boys right there. There we go. Okay. All good. Everyone's happy. Everyone's centered. ATG.e. It unfurls. Looks good. I'm happy. We need a button. We need to write to our smart contract. So we're going to need to write your contract async. It's an async contract writer, right? You only need one for each contract, but you set one up. And then you can run it whenever you need down here in a button, right? So let's throw in another div and another button. We're going to set delegate. And so that knows about our function. What's the function? Set delegate is the function. And what are the args? It's our new delegate. And we're not going to send in any value. We're ready to go. ATG.eth, set delegate on our local chain, make a transaction. Boom. I am the local delegate. It's working. Uh, now our app says it's on the wrong network, so we got to go to scaffold, config, and set up base. Yep, okay. Oh shoot, I need me to be the address, so I need to paste in my address. Now talk about deploying to base. Well, we're going to need to set up a deployer address, and you need to keep that thing isolated and only put enough money in it that just deploys the contract, right? And it's just used for this application right here, right? So here's the address of this guy. He doesn't have any money in there. If we try to deploy, it's going to say, you know, not enough money. So then let's throw some funds in here, right? So we'll grab this address, jump over to the Wally, -E, go to base, hit send, send in 25 cents. Don't spend it all in one place, Sonny. So we sent 25 cents of ETH on base. Now this dude has enough to deploy, and here we go there is it there is it there yes okay so it's got money here we go yarn deploy network base ship it ship it do 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 sequence one on base deploying yes okay so it's out there okay now everything's on base if we click on an address it just takes us to base scan now right all right, here we go. So here's our delegator app. Can we set Vitalik.eth, set delegate? We're going to pay a fraction of a cent on chain, talking to our smart contract, and Vitalik is now the delegate. Okay, so this is working on localhost. Let's put it on Vercel. Yarn Vercel YOLO prod. You can also do Yarn IPFS to put it on IPFS. And then you're going to get that URL there, and we can go to the URL, and look at this. It's a live app, talking to a live smart contract on base an ethereum l2 and i'm going to set the delegate anyone who can connect, connect their metamask and set the delegate there it is he's the delegate we just did it we built a whole app on chain and you can too you can go to scaffoldeth.io to get started with the tooling and then once you've got that and you're like what do i build go to speedrunethereum.com and learn about all the cool things that you can build on chain hearts hearts go build the future